Hello guys, welcome to Gamer 180 with me, Ray. Right? Today I'm going to be showing you how to block a number on an iPhone. This works. This works on all iPhones up to the iPhone 5. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing you will need is a jailbroken iDevice. device. Once you have got your jailbroken device, all you're going to do is open up Cydia. I'm just going to fast forward this bit while it loads. Okay, Cydia is loaded. So what you're going to do is go over to Manage. Sources. Once you're on Manage, what you're going to do is add the Insanely iRepo. That will be in linked in description. And all you do is press Edit and Add. Then just add the Insanely iRepo source into there. Click Add Source when you have successfully added the Insanely iRepo source. Okay, so once you've done that, what you're going to do is go on to Search. And then search for I Blacklist or I Black for short. As you can see, once you type in I Black, you will get a list of loads of I Blacklist and also I, I Blacklist keygens. The one I chose is the second one, the one with the tick, because this, that one is the one from the Insanity I Repo source. So I'll just click on that. Also, it's one of the latest versions. As you will see in the top right corner, your, yours will have Installer. Mine's got Modify on because I've already installed it. When you install it, you'll get two icons, one being the I Blacklist application itself and the other being the keygen, so you can activate it for free. Also, once you've installed it, it will respring your device. So once your device has respring, you will be get you will get two icons on your home screen one being the iBlacklist app itself and the other being the iBlacklist keygen what you're going to do is click on the keygen first and then when the keygen opens it will say activate then just press the activate button and then it will begin activating iBlacklist and once that's done activating it will your device will respring once again so once you've done everything in the keygen and your device has respawned, what you're going to do is once again open the keygen and then click remove. And once you press remove, that will remove the keygen from your home screen and off your iDevice and also off of Cydia. If you do get an error when trying to remove the keygen, what you will need to do is go onto Cydia and search CY delete. Uh, and then just hold on the icon and then a red circle will appear. With an X, just press that and then that will remove the keygen from your iDevice. Once you've done all these steps for the keygen, now iBlacklist is ready to open. So all you're going to do is open up the application. And once the application is open, you'll get a interface like this. It's a really simple interface, nothing too hard to understand. So all you're going to do is click on to iBlacklist and then General BL. As you can see, I already have one block number in the General BL. And this number is basically people who want to sell me double glazing, even though... I don't have my own house and they wouldn't stop calling me so I just ended up blocking their number so they couldn't contact me again because it is really annoying. So now you might be saying to yourself well how do I block a number? Well all you do is click on the add sign in the top right corner and then once you've clicked the add sign you'll, be, you'll go to a new menu what says add from contacts, add from recent calls and add from recent messages. Uh, as I did I clicked add from recent calls and then I block the number like this when you first come across uh, this uh, like sort of message your your interface will come up like this now so once you have chose what number you want to block you will get a new interface looking like this where it says uh, display so that'll tell you like the uh, name if it's got a name or anything like that and then the phone number you can also block uh, calls to it or messages to it whether you want to turn them off that means basically uh, you can allow they you can receive calls from them or messages from them so mine are both on to block both of them activities and also you can set a auto reply SMS so basically when they try and contact you it will like say sorry uh, I'm busy or something like that uh, or you can set a an action so when it calls you mine goes straight to voicemail there is other options there like uh, it can go uh, busy signal accept and hang up or no action or accept uh, and once you've charged your action all you're going to do is click save in the top right corner and then you have officially blocked the number and then you have done so now you can exit off go to your home screen and enjoy the peace and quiet so yeah guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe uh, like video and comment if you're stuck i will try my best to help you so yeah guys thanks for watching bye